Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Let's discuss about electrostatics. So that following topics which we are going to deal in this GTEC video will be electrostatics introduction followed by the two kinds of charges that is connectors and insulators. Along with that, we'll be also dealing about the basic properties of electric charge. In that, we'll be discussing about the quantization of electric charge and the conservation of electric charge. And also, we'll be also discussing about the additive nature of charge, Coulomb's law and the principle of superposition. If you see about the electrostatics, the electrostatics is a branch of physics which deals with the static electric charges or else we can say that the charges at rest. You can see here the charges in electrostatic field. The charges in electrostatic field are analogous or analogous to the masses in a gravitational field. So you can find here how the gravitational field is depicted over here. In terms of the electrostatics, these charges have forces acting on them and hence they possess the potential energy. So you can also find here the ideas which have been used widely in terms of many branches of electricity and in the theory of atom. So here is the small depiction of how the theory model of atom will be. So you can find here the electric field. And also you can find here how the presence of electric field in terms of a strong and weak unknown forces acting over on it. So this is how the electrostatics will be defined and classified. So this example is explaining about a negatively charged object you can see here which is brought near to the neutral conducting sphere. So this one is a neutral conducting sphere where you can see the electrons in a sphere of forced from the left side of the sphere to the right side of the sphere. So which is explained. And in the next process you can find here the moment of electrons from the left side of the sphere leaves an unbalanced of charge on the opposite sides in the same sphere. So this is how the negative on the right side and the positive on the right side will be. So when a ground is brought in and touched to the right side of the sphere, the unbalance of charge is going to be neutralized as electrons leave the sphere and pass through the ground. So you can find here how the thing has been happening. Once after this, the right side of the sphere has now been neutralized by the departure of the electrons. So there remains an unbalance of charge on the left side of the sphere. You can see here. So the positive charge remains near the negative tube. Once after that, as the tube is pulled away, there is a movement of remaining electrons within the conducting sphere which results in a uniform distribution of positive charge throughout the sphere surface. So this is the region which we are indicating. So you can see the charges over here. As a result of this, the entire process will be in the laws of negatively charged electrons from the sphere through the ground. Thus, the sphere has an unbalanced charge having more protons than the electrons in it. So, if you see by this side, you can see the presence of charged balloon has induced with a separation of charge. Over this, there will be no net charge on a combination of the spheres. Therefore, the charge has not been created, only separated onto opposite sides of the sphere, which you are seeing over here. The next step of the induction process involves the separating of two spheres. Now we are going to separate these two spheres. So the right side of the sphere is grabbed by the insulating stand and pulled away. As of now, there are, there are now two separate objects with opposite types of charge. So it has been grabbed. So if you see, on the right side of the sphere, 
the excess of negative charge is uniformly distributed where you are seeing here. In terms of the left side of the sphere which you are seeing here, the excess of positive charge remains localized on the left side of the sphere which is attracted by the oppositely charged balloon. As the balloon is pulled away, if you see if the balloon is pulled away, the negatively charged electrons on the left side distribute themselves about the sphere until the excess of positive charge is uniformly distributed. So you can see here, as a result, if a negatively charged balloon is used to charge the left sphere by induction, then the left sphere becomes positively charged. Therefore, the right sphere serves as a type of ground and it becomes negatively charged one. Finally, the two neutral conducting spheres are touching one another right now, thus allowing for the free movement of electrons between them, which you can see here. So, this is how the example of electrostatics will be. In the year of 17th century, you can say, William Gilbert discovered that glass ebonite will exhibit such kind of electrostatics property which has been rubbed with a suitable material. So this was the person William Gilbert. Discussing more on this, the substance which acquires charges on rubbing are said to be called as electrified or else in other terms we can simply call it as charged particle or charged objects. These such terms have been derived from the Greek word called electron which is having the meaning of amber. And also if we discuss about the frictional electricity, it is nothing but the electricity that is produced by friction. So you can see some example over here of frictional electricity. So electricity over here is produced by friction. And if you consider about the charges in a body that do not move, then we can say and simply imply the frictional electricity, which is said to be called as the static electricity. So here you can also find the example of static electricity where the charges in a body do not move which is implying the frictional electricity over here. 